Hello, it's Molly and Rosie Committer, and we're back with a brand new show. Yes, Molly, it's time to give the people what they want. I know, I know, it's only right. And I've got to say, this really is a moment in history. We are proud to bring you the first ever FA Women's Championship show straight from our new studio. Yeah, we've gone full-blown studio, Molly. Look at us, Molly. I know. Look at us. <laughs> All the latest highlights, gossip, goals, basically everything you want to know, we've got you covered. Yeah, that's right. So get tweeting by using the FAWC show hashtag so you can get involved in all the action. It's the opening weekend of the FA Women's Championship. There's been a lot of exciting summer signings across the league. It's going to be a tight one but you just can't call it. But don't worry, we'll be with you every step of the way bringing you all the best action every single week. So it's only right we kick off our first ever show with a championship debut from Bristol City as they take on Crystal Palace at Bromley FC. And your commentator is Chris Sharples. We are underway. And the Women's FA Championship is underway. And straight away it is Crystal Palace looking to make things happen. Cowan forwards, wide now for Wilson up against Cataldo, who goes down, and that will be a penalty. As Coral Haynes gets ready to step up. Against Fran Bentley. It is Haynes into the net. And Palace are off and running for the new season. In comes the corner, another deep one. Oh, and it's somehow found its way in, and Palace have another one. Here's Woolley. She's on her own at the moment. Again, it's risky. And Johnson! And Bristol City are back in this. They've come on stronger as the half has gone on of Bristol City. And it comes from Palmer, and Morgan came to claim, didn't get there really, but it got some sort of contact. And away they go, Palace. Race led by Molly Sharp. Plenty of red shirts getting back, but it's a fine pass. Oh, from one end to the other. How about that? Wilson with the throw. Cowan's cross. Good cross as well. Oh, terrific. Magnificent goal for Palace. Clifford. Wilson. Morgan. Oh, that's a big error. That is a big error. And Bristol City right back in it. If they do score here, it'll be a huge race against time to get another one as we're going to have four additional minutes. Oh, and they have scored. What a great day for Palace. Here's what Molly Sharp had to say after the game. Oh, I love this, Rose. Look at this. So, what a day, honestly. Lots of positives to take from today to push us into the next game. So fortunate to make my debut for this amazing club. Thank you so much to all the fans that came to support us. You were the difference today. Rosie, there's only one person I wanted on the show today, I told you. Yeah, right. you did say this before the show, go on. Literally, <laughs> the one person we've asked for, and she's only gone and got, it, got herself here. Coral, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you guys? Yeah, really good, thank you. Really good. You must be on cloud nine after yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it's a lovely way to spend a bank holiday. Um, two goals and also three points. First game. Really good, really good atmosphere as well at the game. Yeah, amazing. So obviously yesterday was the first game of the Women's Championship. What was the feel like around the squad going into that game? Everybody was so buzzing for the first game, of course. It's the first game in a long time that we played at Bromley with loads of fans. So everybody was really excited. New squad. Um, some players hadn't played for Crystal Palace before, so they was really excited and it kind of was contagious throughout the whole squad. 
Love that. And look, it was a seven goal thriller. We love watching it. Um, it had everything, didn't it? What were your thoughts on the team's performance overall? Yeah, so this season we're, we're playing a lot different to what we were playing last season. Um, you both know um, the coaching staff there, and they're giving all, all the information that we need. So we're trying new things. Um, so sometimes it didn't go away, but then sometimes it paid off. So the, the three points kind of highlighted how hard we've been working at a new, new sort of structure. <laughs> Oh, amazing. Listen, don't be modest. I know what you're like. You had an absolute world yesterday. Me and Mo were talking about it constantly. How did it feel getting the two goals? Yeah, I mean, the first goal was a penalty and it's like the easiest um, easiest opportunity you're going to get in a game, one-on-one uh, -on -one with a goalkeeper. So I didn't even think about who else wanted it. We've got some new strikers in the team, so I thought maybe that they might have uh, wanted it, but I just went over and got the ball and got my first goal of the season. And then your second goal, obviously, was that a little half volley I saw? Full volley? Come oh, on now. Hey. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't really see it from the angle. <laughs> said, oh, no, you hit it so well. You hit it so well. Did you know that was going in once you struck it? No, it hit the post. And I was like, oh, no, it's come straight back out. But luckily, it hit the inside of the post and went in. So that was a lucky, lucky got really. <laughs> love that. Love that. Well, cool. That's all we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining us on the show and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you both so much. Thank See you. Bye-bye. And up next in the show, we head up north as Matt Beard's Liverpool opened their campaign against London City Lionesses. And watching this one was Dan Roebuck. London City have a corner. Rogers to take. Ag with the header onto the post and away. Laws was nowhere near that. London City with a free kick. Again, it will be long inside the penalty area. Liverpool just struggling to clear their lines here. Thompson will take it on. Oh, that's clever. Good pace as well here from Thompson. Rope comes across now. That's a penalty. It's a clumsy challenge. There's not too much in it, but there was contact. And it's a spot kick here for London City Lionesses. Here's the... Replay, Thompson does brilliantly, shows real pace. Well, Rihanna Jarrett, on her debut, what an opportunity here. Up against Rachel Laws, plenty of experience with the Liverpool keeper. But Jarrett finds the corner, real precision with a penalty. And it's London City that lead. London City have really grown in confidence. Thompson does well. Primus on the right-hand side. It's the shot that's, well, just dragged wide of the post. She wanted players inside the area. She didn't get them. Liverpool running out of time here for a leveller. Can they conjure something spectacular? Humphrey always going over. And London City Lionesses look set for the win. Oh, Rose, it's a dream start for Rihanna Jarrett, isn't it? Let's see what she had to say after the game. First game, first goal, first win, massive three points on the road and a great shift from everyone. We build and go again at home next weekend. And obviously not the result Liverpool wanted, but a lovely tweet about the fans. Listen to this. Not the result we wanted, but it was great to have you back with us today, Reds. Thank you for your support. Don't you worry, we've still got plenty to come. Of course, we wouldn't let the other fixtures go unnoticed. Never. We must note, though, Lewis versus Charlton won't get a look in this week due to a postponement. Yeah, that's right. But don't worry, we've got Blackburn, Watford, Sheffield, Durham, Coventry <laughs> and Sunderland. There's still plenty of action to get through. Rosie, get the round up on. <laughs> First up, we've got Blackburn Rovers against Sheffield United. Hornby crosses the ball to Chloe Dixon, who then taps it in to make it 1-0. Look at that. Finish. <laughs> yeah, then Amy Hodgson and Saffron Jordan link up for Blackburn's second goal of the afternoon. What a beauty this is. Ooh, she's done well there. She has. Great finish, that. Mm. 
Next up, we've got Watford versus Durham. Beth Heppel hits the woodwork for a Lauren Briggs rebound to make it 1-0 to Durham. Don't want to comment too much on that one. <laughs> Heppel involved again at this time round on the score sheet to make it 2-0 to Durham. Oh, here we go, and it's an unbelievable strike from Fife. Sees Watford pull it back 2-1, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Rose, what, what a weldy. What a weldy. Wow. <laughs> Sunderland versus Coventry up next. Coventry made some big signings over the summer. Looks like they have a promising season, but they were undone by Jessica Brown strike yesterday. Kira Ramshaw almost doubled the lead, but was denied by a good save from Thomas. What a great save. A solid opening weekend in the league with a strong start from Blackburn. Tash Benton had this to say off the back of their victory. So good to have the fans back today and have you all behind us. Three points on the opening day for the first time during our championship time. Thank you for all your support and see you again soon. We build and go again this week with the Wolfpack. Watford manager Clint Lancaster had this to say after the game. It was at times a little bit emotional watching it because you see the hard work he put in in the training really come out against the top side. The girls were really disciplined, they were patient, they worked hard, they did everything I wanted them to do. Yeah, I really agree with what Clint said there. Um, it was a tough one to take yesterday. It was really odd. Um, we knew we let ourselves down in the first half, uh, so that was a tough one. Uh, but then when we come out into the second half and we were able to implement everything that we discussed in the changing room at half time and do it well, um, it was a really special moment and it was a special game to be a part of yesterday. Um, so we're all really excited at Watford um, moving forward into the season because we know what we can do now. Well, look, Rose, as I said before, it's only week one, all right? Calm down. Don't stress too much, all right? But let's see how that result has affected the table. Blackburn Rovers sitting top there with three points. Just below them, Crystal Palace, Durham, London City Lionesses and Sunderland all on evens. Mm, yeah, see Sheffield United, I never thought I'd see them down the bottom of the table. But as you said, it is early days. Liverpool, you've got down there as well. Mm. I know, there's some tasty ones, especially next week, by the way. Let's have a look at those. Oh, Watford versus Liverpool. Yeah, that's going to be at Vicarage Road as well this weekend. It yeah. should be great for us. That'd be amazing. And look, I'm excited to finally see Lewis in action, to be honest. Same with Cholton as well. Right, I'm going to be honest, guys. It wouldn't be our show if we didn't have some sort of competition between us. Why do you do this every time? Why what? can't we just have a show without you putting in a competition? But, but <laughs> I like it. I think it's good, me versus you, you versus me. Scared of losing. But anyway, <laughs> with a new show comes a new game, in my opinion. Yeah. And yes, we'd like to introduce to you the Championship Score Predictor. Yes, each week, me and Mo will be going head-to-head -to, -head to put our necks on the line to predict the following week's matchday scores. Yeah, that's right. We've picked out three games from this weekend's fixtures. Here are our predictions. All right, so first up, we've got Watford against Liverpool. Mo, what are you thinking? I'm really sorry, all right? But I'm going to have to go Liverpool 2-1 yeah. on this. Okay. All right? Right, well, of course, I'm backing us, so I'm going 1 0 Watford. OK, who's up next then? Up next, we've got Sunderland against Blackburn. What are you thinking, Mo? Blackburn have done really well, all right, and I'm backing them. I reckon they'll smash it this weekend. 3 0 Blackburn. Ooh, see, I'm thinking they will win, don't get me wrong, but I think they'll just nick it 2 1. OK. Next one, we've got Bristol City against Lewis. OK, I'm going to be honest, I think Lewis will come out. All guns blazing, 1-0. Really? Yes. See, I'm thinking the opposite. I think Bristol have had a game under their belts now. I think they'll be comfortable going into their second game. So I'm going 2-0 Bristol. I already feel like I've got this game. <laughs> Honestly, I right. can feel it. <laughs> Honestly, this game is so competitive. Too competitive. <laughs> right, that's all we've got time for this week. Yeah, and what an amazing debut the FA Women's Championship gave us. Goals galore on week one, and hopefully it's a sign of things to come this season. Thanks again. We'll see you next week.